Welcome to episode six of Life in the SHL. Uh, it is Tuesday morning. We have two games this week. Uh, Thursday, we're at home against Rögle. And Saturday, we go on the road. Game against Shalefto, I believe. And a couple of former Marlies play on those teams. So I think Brady Ferguson is on, on Rögle on Thursday. And um, at least Michael Kapla is on, on Shalefto. And I think they have... Uh, couple other North Americans as well, but good to see some old uh, old teammates. It is breakfast time before heading to the rink. All being in breakfast, believe it or not. Also got some of my best sleep in a long time. The Aura gave me 88 sleep score. And make sure to subscribe. It's going to be a fun week. Today I gotta go do some grocery shopping. I gotta go try to find uh, protein powder and then some peppermint oil as well. I'm running out of that. So hopefully I can find that here. And then nothing planned for tonight. I think I'm gonna watch another KHL game. Helsinki Yokarit are playing again. So pretty basic, slow night here in Lexington. The most important thing for a goalie are the eyes. How you see the puck, how you see the play, um, and that's why I do my vision training with Visual Edge. Super easy to use. My edge core here has went up from 70s to 90 in almost a year now, and that's a huge jump, huge difference. I can definitely feel it out on the ice. So this is what my uh, weekly training schedule pretty much looks like. I do two or three sessions a week, depending on our schedule. Uh, I like to have a day off before a game from doing this. So not day before a game or a day off a game. You work on divergence, recognition, tracking, uh, contrast sensitivity, convergence, depth perception. So everything's very important for a goalie. Takes about 15 to 20 minutes to run through the program. Um, like I said, two, three times a week. They also have a game day training program, which uh, I usually do before getting to the rink or at the rink. Just a short routine, get the ice warmed up. And for some of those exercises, you need these super cool 3D glasses as well. So all you pretty much need is your laptop your, or your iPad and then these glasses and you're good to go. And just like for any athlete, uh, your vision is very important. So if you're not doing any kind of vision training, you're falling behind. So I definitely recommend uh, Visual Edge. There should be a link below uh, to get started. You won't regret it. Tonight's dinner is uh, buffalo chickpea wraps with some peppers. Toss some of this stuff in there. This is the sauce I use, unbelievable. Bye. Yeah. Oh no. Okay, do you want a treat? Gotta say night night, daddy. Mm -hmm. Game day, start day against Rugler.
Seven hours before the game, I ate lunch at the rink, and usually what I'm used to is eating, obviously, lunch after morning skate, coming back, napping, and then having a little bit of a snack, sandwich or something like that before heading back to the game. But like I said, it's seven hours until puck drop, and I mean, it's like nine hours until third period, so I might have to rethink my schedule on fueling my body. So I think I'm gonna eat again after my nap since that's a long time in between and I definitely don't wanna be hungry when the game starts. So uh, I got a couple hours until my scheduled nap time. Game is at seven tonight. So I usually go take a nap around two. So I'm just gonna lay on the couch, watch some TV, relax, uh, treat the body a little bit, make sure it's all ready to go tonight. one loss I'm um, gonna keep this very quick we had a tough uh, 10 minute section to start off the second period where we we gave up four went from 0-0 in the first period to four nothing and then it was pretty much over after that first goal I was screened on the release second one was uh, two on one two passes and my former Marley's teammate Brady Ferguson scored that one third goal I was screened on the release again Fourth one, they try to pass it in front of the net, hit the hit a leg, bounce back, uh, just tough bounces. And then a fifth one was uh, a one-timer shot in the slot. Obviously, I can't sit here and say I played well when, <laughs> when give up five and lose the game. Um, but, you know, just kind of trust the process. I think all the controllable things that are normal within the game are, have been good the last two games. Um, so I just gotta believe in myself and believe in the process that uh, as long as I keep doing the right things that those other things will work itself out. A lot of questions from the first two games. I had some good conversations uh, and I believe we have a lot of answers as well as a team, personally myself. And we have a good team. We just gotta put it together and we do have another opportunity tomorrow uh, it's a travel game against Kalefto. Uh, my goal partner Axel Braga is going to start that one. Hopefully he can fire us up and get us a big win. And It's going to be a long day, 45-minute uh, bus to Borlange. We fly out um, up north and play the game and fly back after the game. So, But that's the beauty of hockey. Like We get to, we get to play again and have a chance for, for three points and put those things that we believe in that we are as a team and uh, play better and execute our plan and compete and do all those things because I believe we, we can win any game as long as we play play our own game. But it's two games in. I'm slightly frustrated, obviously, two losses, not playing the way I should be playing, but I'm also excited that I get to play again. Uh, we have a chance to turn this thing around and go to battle and see what we can do as a team because it's going to be a long season and we have the recipe for success, but we have to just put it together. Skjellefteå vinner med tre mål mot Oskar som än håller nollan i sin SHL-debut. 